Hey guys, so I thought I would actually start like my next series, which is going to just be talking about Japanese people. Uh, I'm going to start by talking about them from different age groups. Since I'm a teacher right now and I teach little kids, I thought I would start with um, just the kids that I talk to and play with like all the time. Um, majority of the kids, um, if I don't meet them in school, they're probably scared of me. Um, sometimes I'll see some like just walking around and they'll say something just because I guess since I'm a foreigner, they just think like, oh, he's a teacher. <laughs> yeah, no, no way he's just here without like being a teacher. And because we have so many other ALTs like just running around, they just assume that if you're a foreigner, you're a teacher. It's like, hey, I'm not a teacher, but you know, or maybe they're just trying to say like hello because they finally get to see like that foreigner outside of school. So it's like, ooh, let's say hi. But that happens every once in a while. I, I just walk past somebody and then generally I'm listening to music. So sometimes I don't hear people, but like I've been trying to lately, like if I see kids at least or somebody that seems like they probably want to talk about something, or if they're like staring a little bit too much, I'm like, okay, let me just turn it off just so I can see if they're saying something. Because one time I turned off my music in like the middle of like this this little kid looking at me. <laughs> and, I, and I guess he said hello like five times or something, but like I can't hear anything. And so I was just like, he's staring at me. It, did I do something? I was just like, click. He's like, hello and i'm like oh hello <laughs> and then that was it but it was just so funny because i'm sure he probably said hello like 10 times or something like that and just because i wasn't responding he was like is he like ignoring me but like you can't um especially with like the iphone ones you know like these i mean you i can't hear anything like i mean they just go straight into your ears so like i don't hear anything besides just like the music <laughs> so, but, but now I've been good with it I try to turn it down or turn it off especially if I see kids and like just in case because I, I teach man I literally teach over a thousand five hundred good eye about that much uh, kids probably more than that um, so like I don't I really don't know no but I mean like a regular teacher doing like you know like just a few students you know or just like you know like six you know, six grades, it's like, okay, okay, but I mean, like, I got, like, six grades in, like, five different schools, so, like, they're just, and, like, and then that, in the, in the six grades, I do, like, all four classes of sixth graders, all four classes of fifth graders, you know, so I just have so many students, so every, everybody wants me to remember that they always say it, like, do you remember my name? I'm, 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 and I'm just like... Mama, <laughs> you know, and they're like, hey, and I'm just like, oh, I really, I, like, it's hard, like, I try, but, <laughs> okay, I, I can't really try. The thing about me is to get used to people's names, I have to hang out with you enough or say it enough, and in one class, I have to look at this student, this student, this student, this student, this student, this student. So I can't like just focus on one person and they really want me to just focus on them. And I'm trying like, I try to do like that, that, that look like I'm looking at you, but I'm also looking at you, but I'm also looking at you. <laughs> but like sometimes like somebody's like making weird faces to get my attention and sometimes it like catches me off guard and I'll laugh or something. But like, it's just like, wait, and then I'm sure like this person is over here is mad like, why is he not looking at me anymore? <laughs> and then everybody looks at the person that's making a face because I, I like laughed or something and they just, you know, you probably give them a sour face like, and then sometimes they'd be like, yeah, I'm there. Like they tell them to stop it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh God, you know, or that teacher would give them that look like, but that's only if they're like one of the hardcore teachers. If they're like nice, they're just like, <laughs> but like the kids are wonderful. Um, especially in my schools like at first like I want to say at first they were probably scared I think the last um, person that was there was Filipino if I'm correct so still kind of Asian so it's easier to kind of like move into and then it's just like black and it's just like whoa who is that you know? <laughs> you know so it's just like you know it, it probably was like a huge change for them even though it's been like what like um 
they interchanged since we finished about like March something. Probably like a few weeks. So if you're going from like first grade to second grade or fifth to sixth grade or something like that, like you have like probably two weeks off or something like that because you know the school system is different in Japan compared to like America. Um, so the year round system starts in March instead of September like it does in America or like about that in like America or at least the schools I went to I guess yeah. I think they're all the same are they <laughs> please let me know <laughs> if you're like in a different part of America but it, the ones I went to in, in California they were they all start probably like um generally September but they were trying to push it to like August and stuff but like in Japan they start in April um, so usually they recruit their teachers like or they ship them here pretty much ship them <laughs> in like March So yeah, I mean they had like probably two weeks to be like, oh, we had a Filipino teacher and then bam I'm, I come in they're like, who is that? You know, so I want to see like the beginning it was like I didn't know what to do because I didn't I didn't really want to touch them or anything because I'm just like what if they're scared or something and they already didn't do too much they weren't too warmed up to me so I was like I really don't want to touch anybody because I don't want anybody to freak out you know so I was just like I was just avoiding all that but like as time went on my god like I'm like one of their I'm, I'm like one of them you know and I mean one of them as and they do all the same stuff that they do to all the other kids like you know like I I don't think we did this when I was growing up, but you know, like, um, they, they like to, they, well, see, that sounds bad though, but, <laughs> but they, they, they like to like hit each other's balls, but not like really hit. So it's not hard, but kind of soft, but I don't want to say it's like trying to feel, but like, yeah, but then I don't know, I could be different, like as in there you know all because of all the stuff out there in the world like black people being bigger whatever and all that stuff I mean it's not just kids it's everybody that asks me stuff like that but anyway you know I don't know if that's why they do it too but I mean I see them do it to other little kids too you know um everything the relationships in Japan is a lot different I want to say um like the like the little kid little, well no not just little kids but like in everybody even guys are very like they're very like touchy feely, I want to say. Um, so like the kids, they, they do the same. Like they like me to hold them, you know, and stuff like that, you know. Or sometimes they just like come to my arms and they'll just like wrap my arms around them and they'll go like this, you know. And like they they really treat me kindly. But I want to say it's different from America because I don't, I I never did that to any teacher. I but I know America's pretty like like if you do something that could be considered rape or you know or that kind of thing so that's kind of scary like that's the one thing I don't want so I don't really like touching kids well that sounds bad too but <laughs> I don't I don't like I don't really want to touch but like they always want me to touch them and like the teachers let them do stuff to me and stuff and like they don't care because it's just different here than it is in America. So I'm like, wow, so that, you know, that took some time to get used to because I'm like, oh no, he, why is he touching me? I should not touch it. Stop, 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 because I don't want anything to come back on me, <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to get deported. <laughs> but like, it's, it's so different because they're more open, especially the kids. They love me to hold them. Like, no, no matter how, like, I mean, I teach from first year elementary which goes into sixth year elementary here and then first year middle school which goes into third year middle school here and like all of them all, I mean all grades like all my elementary schools all my middle schools they love me to hold them or um they like filling on me and stuff like that and they always want me to play with them so at first it was kind of like mm, like you know like kind of way because we don't know each other I guess but now it's just like I'm like their average Yuki <laughs> not Joe <laughs> or whatever you know <laughs> but um they do like they warmed it to me so well and I they they're really nice the only thing is that we have like a little kind of issue with sometimes is that they don't really want to learn English 
that much or they're kind of like they're just ready for the games you know and i really and i'm i'm trying to get them to learn but i mean i can't force them so I, i've been trying to get that put that into my head that i can't force them to learn english but i don't know it's just because i felt like if i didn't if my teacher didn't try hard then i wouldn't blame them but i would be I don't know I guess for me at least I would kind of be like Ugh, about myself like man I didn't try but then I probably think like man I wish the teacher actually pushed me more to do it and I try to push all my students to do it but then I also don't want them to get the wrong ideal and not want to learn English because um he was just too hard you know yeah when he said game I was on it but you know and when we played around I was on it but when he he just tried make me t like learn English too much and he tried too hard and, and I'm just like uh but then I get older and then I'm like I really want to learn English you know and I don't want it to be like that I really want to try and that's the thing I struggle with the most is because I want my kids to learn but um the general like focus of it pretty much is that the kids are very very sweet I don't I don't know where it kind of changes because it seems like if you want to put it into like um, different categories, it'd be like really young, about my age, so like 20s, and then, you know, then we have like, okay, well, I guess let's, let's say 20 to 30s, maybe 40s, or like early 40s, and then we have like older people like late 40s and higher, you know? And like, I'm gonna talk about those three classes, but mainly like the kids, like they're just, they're very sweet. I don't, I mean, it's, I guess it's that thing of they're just being brought into the world. So they, they don't have too much wrong in them, I guess, cause they haven't seen too much or they haven't done too much, you know? So maybe um, it's just like very sweet. Like I don't really have a problem with it. The, the one thing that gets me sometimes is like, um crying over something for like no reason because you wanted it but she got it or he won the game and she didn't you know which is generally like little boys or whatever but i always feel bad because i'm just like it's just the game i was like it doesn't matter we'll probably play it again in like two weeks or three you know i'll probably change it up some it'd be better you got a second chance like we can get her we can get him next time you know like don't cry and you know but they take it to heart because everybody really wants to win. And I feel bad. I mean, generally girls here, they don't do any crying. But, like, my little boy is like, yeah. The, I see them, not all of them, but a majority, I see them just cry so much for something. And I'm just like, oh, what happened now? You know, I'm like, oh, don't cry. <laughs> you know, and I feel bad. But I'm like, but we, ha like, I can't too much focus on them because then like everybody else is looking like but I'm trying to play the game like you need to come back to me you know and it's like 30 other students and then it's just the one crying sometimes the teachers are kind of just like well he cries all the time kind of so it's just like let's continue the game and I'm just like I feel bad because I'm just like oh <laughs> you know <laughs> you know and then sometimes like they'll um try to get to the bottom of the issue like why are you crying and then he'll say um he he slapped my hand or something and didn't let me get the eraser when we were playing the game and then he'll, then he'll be like no -uh. and he'll be like yes huh and then the teacher will start talking to them but then now the the class is just all over the place because now nobody really wants to do anything because everybody's scared they're gonna get in trouble too and it, it it goes off proportion so easily and i'm just like uh but um uh, besides that like the kids are wonderful even the ones I meet outside, um, with my rape group, they have kids too. Some are, you know, they're a little bad, <laughs> I want to say, because uh, they want to get their way. Uh, but um, besides that, like, they warm up to me and then they start trying to do stuff with me. I don't know, it's just fun because I'm just like, yes. And then I always think to myself, like, man, why couldn't you be older? Why couldn't you be my age? So we can, like, hang out and do stuff. But they're all younger, so I'm just like, ah. But then I have that struggle with, you know, like, older people, which I'll get into next. See you guys next time. Bye.